Peter Park, a Korean American, passed the bar exam at the age of 17, and he will now become California's youngest lawyer ever. But let's talk about why not everybody is celebrating. Hey, not only that, Andrew, he's going to be a prosecutor. So if you are a criminal in Tulare County in Central California, watch out. Peter Park is on your ass. Woo! Um, yeah, we got to talk about this news. It went viral on a lot of different websites, Andrew. CNN posted it. I thought this was only going to stay in the Asian world. So, of course, that brought a flurry of comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. We're about to break it down. Andrew, you know what else is overachieving right now? Smala sauce. Everybody likes it. It is. It could pass the bar exam or actually pass the test exam, a taste exam. Anyways, check it out, smalasauce.com. Why is this controversial? I mean, should it be just Asians being proud of Peter Park becoming the youngest working attorney in California state history? Or is it the fact that he's joining the prosecution? He did online law school. That's how we passed the bar. Well, like, why is everybody like, I mean, I would say the comments... 80% are positive, but there is 20% where they're like, oh, well, I don't know, because some people think it's a perpetuation of the model minority myth, and maybe for the last couple years, only Asian entertainers that were outside of that box were being celebrated. Yeah, you know, I don't think that people are going to throw parties in the streets for this kid, and obviously, I want to shout out to him. What he achieved is very difficult um, and kind of did achieve a model minority dream, but I would say, like, I guess... The controversy is interesting because I think on one hand, uh, some people feel like it perpetuates the stereotype. Oh, look at this Asian whiz kid. And then on one hand, some, I think, just general Americans, like non-Asians, are just happy. They're like, wow, a kid who still wants to be smart. That's cool. And then on one side, on the other side, people are like, but he's going to be a prosecutor. Like, what are the implications of that? In your time on Central California, he's just going to be prosecuting a bunch of people who don't look like him. And he's Asian. He's white adjacent. He's on the white side. He's prosecuting. Why isn't he being a public defendant? All this other stuff. Right. So, I mean, I guess nowadays, is it... It's like fair and it's not fair that all these discussions take place, right? Man, like every, because he's just a kid trying to be focused and disciplined. He's obviously got a great brain, a great support system behind him. Mm -hmm. So he's locked in. So he's achieving all these things. But then there's all these other discussions that got to take place. Yeah. And then also anytime that there's like an Asian person being celebrated, the whole comment section can easily get like kind of racial. Well, actually, I would just say every comment section well, of almost any video is racial now, right? If it's a black guy, a, a Latino guy, Asian guy, white guy, even even a white or Asian woman, it's just going to get political. Any sports center post can get racial within like oh literally like 30 minutes. Yeah. Well, you know, for me, I guess I'm just, I'm not going to like celebrate too hard, but shout out to this guy. You know what I mean? Like, I guess he wants to uphold the law. So you do need some people to still do that. No, it looks like he's from a, you know, I don't know. I want, I don't want to know his politics. I'm going to guess a fairly conservative, very intellectual you know, Korean American family. And I would say one thing about this, Andrew, he's actually expanding on the model minority myth because I think a lot of people uh, have always known about whiz kid doctors, a ton of whiz kid engineers and scientists, but I think a whiz kid lawyer is a little bit outside of it. Like, I, I'm not saying it doesn't fit in a STEM because STEM sometimes includes like law and high level business, but I feel like you don't see kids in the courtroom that often. Yeah, They're especially. usually writing like legal briefs or like uh, on the policy team for a political party. Especially being a prosecutor. But let's get into the comment section. All right, Andrew, the first one, of course, you have the Asian parent memes. This was actually the top section on CNN as well as Next Shark. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess. What is it about this Asian parent meme? Is it because there have been Time Magazine, like Asian American model minority whiz kid covers since 1987, and Time Magazine has like, I mean, you know what I mean? This stereotype, it exists in the society nah, at man, a very listen, broad level. This Asian parent meme is going to pop up every single time an Asian kid is the youngest to do something that has to do with academics. Obviously, this isn't the youngest kid to ever go to the NBA. This is the youngest kid to ever pass the bar exam. In California, become in, a working lawyer, in, right? In California, yeah. I, I guess it just fits with a stereotype, right? Like, yeah. I guess it fits with, like, Asians just being, like, these uh, whiz, hyper-focused whiz kids, right? Um, somebody said, imagine committing a crime, showing up to court, and seeing that the prosecutor is a 17-year-old Korean kid, and just knowing that you are about to get cooked. <laughs> yeah, visually, it's going to be crazy. I don't know. 
Be, I don't know how the law works. Being a prosecutor, does that mean he's in the courtroom right away? Maybe he's on the prosecutor. He's a team? deputy DA. He's a deputy right. DA. He'll probably be working underneath somebody. But oh, I guess man. a lot of people are like, man, a kid that overachieving, it's like he's going to be shooting for max sentences on all the criminals nonstop. Oh, man, I just hope he, you know, prosecutes like, you know, the right people, obviously. No, I'm sure, you know, listen, guys, it depends. I, I heard a lot of um, young hotshot prosecutors can over sentence and not take into account mitigating factors. But obviously, the good ones, they're, they're pretty much well-rounded off the bat, right? Mm. Somebody said, well, what would you do if the victim was Chinese and the criminal was American or vice versa? So basically, this is uh, one of the comments from basically people questioning his loyalties. Dude, trust me. Asian lawyers have sent Asians to jail before. Right. I'm sure. And I'm sure that not everybody, like, he's going to have to put away some Asians. Uh, to be honest, in that, I mean... Well, there's, gonna, there's gonna be Asian criminals in Tulare County. Yes, yeah, I'm sure. Um, somebody said, man, you have your entire life to be an adult. Of course, make that money, but take your time for your youth. And then, of course, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh man, he looks so nerdy. He's not cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you think of these comments? Somebody was, you know, these are people that are concerned for him, but they're they're not really giving him full props either. I think people want to take something away from him by kind of implying that he didn't live a regular life, that he yeah. didn't enjoy life, that he's a weirdo kid. I don't think he is. Listen, if he's a lawyer and he's super weird or you got like weird ticks about him, it's going to come out and yeah. it's going to be weeded out. Yes, he is entering a very, very grown-up adult world, which I think is going to be interesting. He might, you know, he might burn out early and then have to take a break or something. But I think that that's what's so impressive about it. Obviously, his story has yet to be written. That's going to be up to him and his support systems of how they execute. But I think that he obviously has better, uh, like a higher people skill threshold requirement than even like hardcore research. Mm. For sure. Even just to make it to this point, right. to even get hired in the first place. Exactly. Well, uh, like we said, Andrew, it got posted on CNN. There's a ton of bro comments. In life, we need to enjoy our age. Probably this dude has no friends. Yeah, bro. Connections are way more powerful than degrees. And um, obviously, these comments were from a lot of non-Asians. Mm. And you know what I noticed, Andrew? These people, they may be born into certain situations where that's true for them and how their family maintains wealth or power. But for a lot of Asian Americans, Andrew, they're going to need to do the work. Mm -hmm. Because literally, I guess what I'm saying is I'm not fully disagreeing with what they're saying, but not everybody's in the same family position. Yeah. Like if you're like an old money white person who's like inheriting wealth, of course you feel that way because that's your reality. Right. Um, somebody's just said, man, it's just nice to read about a teen who's motivated, mm. man, is he might run for the, uh, president in the future. And someone said, trust me, nobody is becoming a politician with a degree from an online law school. So some people are like questioning. Uh, it. I, I, I don't think that's true. Politician. There's many different levels to politician. And especially and, nowadays, right? And at the end of the day, if he practiced and he passed the bar exam, that's all that really matters. Yeah. The online school doesn't sound good. But maybe not president, but he, he's probably going to run for some type of office. I later. agree with you, because once he gets the real life reps in in the courtroom, that'll be his resume. It won't be like only that on his portfolio anymore. Somebody just said, man, I think Asian people try harder than most other groups of people. They That's why they garner the prize. Mm. Of course, he is Asian. This is just proof that culture and parenting make successful children. Um I guess this kind of is the other flip side, right? People being like Asians, man, they always do the right thing. Yeah. Somebody said, uh, man, he's just way too young to see the things that I've seen. I also work as a public defendant. It's going to rock his mind and traumatize him. Of course, it depends on his own mental fortitude. Possible, right? yeah, but maybe he's not. I don't know. I mean, you know, this you, you never know what these kids are. But yeah, I guess we'll, we'll catch up with him in about three or four years, guys. Right. I guess, Andrew, what do you think, man? Do you have the reaction from the non-Asian community? I guess it confirms some stereotypes in the same way that seeing like Zion on the cover of Sports yeah. Illustrated confirms their stereotypes or like a cool... White guy I, doing something that typically cool white guys are known no, for No, like the Sean White, youngest, best snowboarder ever is white, of course. Right, uh, the skateboarder. But, I mean, those are cool things. I think being a prosecutor is not really seen as cool. Um, you know, for me, I just hope he does a good job. I just hope that, like, shout out to him. He did the work. He studied. He passed the bar. He's going to be in a man's world and a fully adult world. Right, like criminals and people trying to prosecute criminals, yeah, right? Yeah, dealing with all different types of things. Being a prosecutor is not easy because some people don't like you. 
So he's not going to make a lot of, you know, friends in the streets that way. But what I'm saying is like, I just hope he does a good job. I hope he's not controversial. I hope he doesn't over sentence somebody or wrongfully sentence someone or under sentence somebody. Cause that's yeah. his job is yeah. to, is to put the, uh, you're right. The appropriate sentence. I right? just hope he does an accurate, good job. I'm rooting for Peter Park because maybe he's going to set the example for uh, all the other young lawyers out there too in the future. I think it's just really interesting because I always knew that like nerdy things in America were really important. They're really structural, but at the same time, Culturally, they're like derided at the same time. So I always thought that was weird because Asians are so good at quote unquote like nerdy things or scholastic things right. or scholarly things. Right, right, right. And everybody knows you need them to run the society. Uh -huh. But then there's a side of people in America that strongly, strongly thinks it's also uncool. So they want to see, you know what I'm saying? Like Asians not perpetuate this Time Magazine stereotype of whiz kids. Obviously, I believe that Peter Park is a great example. I support it, but he's, a, I think he's a slight expansion of it, but he does fit into that archetype. So, so what? Guys, I mean, hey, Jeremy Lin broke so many stereotypes, but he still went to Harvard. Yeah. I don't think that Asians should, like, stop. Dude, I'll say this, man. Like, some Asians are going to be uh, raised by, like, Americanized environments or ultra-Americanized parents. And, yes, some, some kids are going to need to go on to be DJs at EDC and, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Become, like, these electro gods. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. other people, they still need to, to hold down the well, old way. Why don't we just root when it comes to, like... Like non-model minority Asians cheering on model minority Asians or whatever people who fit into the model minority stereotype. Why can't we just cheer for them to be the most well-balanced? I'm just cheering for Peter Park to not be a weird kid, to do his job, to mentally handle what's coming to him. And that's all you can wish for. And that would be good. And that would be good for Asians to see such a young kid achieve it and be successful and not be weird and not break down. Right. That's all I hope for. Yeah. I hope for well-balanced Asian kids, and I think that we, we can do it. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Shout out to Peter Park. Great achievement. And, uh, yeah, look forward to what he does in the future. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.